Can you have fun while you're learning? We're going to talk about that on, on this, this episode, episode of 5, five minutes, minutes with, with Dad. Dad. Welcome to 5 Minutes with Dad, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead, too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Hey! Hey! Awesome hey! What am I, a sad <laughs> trombone? Maybe. Maybe. Well, happy Sunday, Angela. Mm-hmm. I what? am so excited about this week. You know what my favorite day of the week is? Sunday? T- that's tied with my favorite day. Saturday? Tied with my favorite day. Monday? Tied with my favorite day. Every day? Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take you to catch on. I figured once you got to the third, you were like, oh, my geeky dad. I know where he's going with this one. Yeah. Hey, oh. All right. So we got a good show today. You know why, Angela? Wait. I have. You do? Mm-hmm. I have a riddle. A riddle? Okay. Mm-hmm. Riddle me. What runs but never walks, what make noise but never talks. What runs but never we'll walks? We'll set the answer at the end of the episode if we remember. If we remember, yeah, we're not good at remembering <laughs> what run. If not, we'll do it the following episode, or we'll put it in the show notes. Oh, okay. by the way, Ange, remember was it last week when we did our multiplications by eleven? Yeah, and we had to put it in the thing. Yeah, we put it in the show notes. But let's see Can here. A uh, piece of paper there. You're going to write down? Yeah, sure. Just write down there. Ang- Angela wants to remind <laughs> us to not do it. Okay, so last week we gave, we were doing some math facts. Um, it was And something. yeah, live five minutes. I'm going to look it up with dad Libsyn. And we did a math um we, we posed a question and we were supposed to give the answer at the end of the episode. Now, everyone has calculators available to them if they're listening to this show because they are listening to it on either a computer, which has a built-in calculator if you search Google, or they are listening to it on their phone, which has a built-in. What if they're listening to it on a... On a... IPad? iPad has a built-in calculator. Now I put the answer in the show notes, but for some reason, now I'm not seeing it. And I forget what the problem was. Do you remember what the math problem was? Nope. 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 Where in the world? Oh, that's why. Because yes, I also have another place that doesn't have a built-in calculator. What you got? The TV. If you go onto the TV, go onto YouTube. Set oh, it up. that's right. That's right, Ange. Well, but let's you probably see. could search it up on YouTube. Yeah, you, if you could, if you're looking on YouTube, you can search it up. Well, all right. So I don't know what the problem was that we did, but we did our math problems, and I hope everyone has been practicing when they're multiplying by eleven using our cool little trick that we found. In the other, in the normal trick, <laughs> um, for not doubles, for just single numbers, is just double so, the number, right? Make it like take the number and put it by, next to it. Yeah. So like fifty-five, um, fifty. Five times, five times eleven. Five times eleven is five five. 55. Six times eleven, six six. Wait, one yep. times eleven is eleven. One one. Two times eleven. Two two. Is twenty-two. Three times eleven, thirty-three. Yep. Four times 11, 44. Five times 11, 55. Six times 11, 66. Seven times 11, 77. Eight times 11, wait. Eight times 11, 88. Nine times 11, 99. Ten times 11. 110. That's when you get to, uh, yeah, the zero at the end. That's when you use your map. Oops. Oh, I just nailed my microphone. I wonder if that's going to come through. Um, That is. I think it will. Yeah, I think it might too, but that's okay. That would be using your 10 table where you put a zero at the end of the 11. All right. So Angie's writing down a reminder for her to make sure that she gives the end of the riddle. Wow. So I'll try to remember too. All right. So Angie, let's dig into this episode. We got something important to talk about, which is, can you have fun learning? Now that doesn't sound like a really uh, exciting episode. 
unless you focus on the fun part. And yeah, yeah Angela and has something, something cool. Fun is what we're doing this week, but we're still learning. Yeah, Ange's doing something fun in school the whole week. Is it the whole week? Yeah. The whole week is being replaced with a big event at her well, school. Not replaced. We still do some normal stuff. Oh, okay. Just some type. Some parts of, the, of the day. Some parts of the day are replaced with an event, a conference at their school, which is kind of cool. It's kind. I go to conferences. It's a reading and writers conference. Yeah. I go to readers and writers conferences and I go to podcast <laughs> conferences. I'm speaking at a podcasting conference next month. I spoke at one in February and uh, yeah, people like talking to me about podcasts and books. What do you think, Ange? Good idea. Mm-hmm. I know a lot about podcasts and books. I know something, something enough to talk for 20 minutes. What do you think? Or a half hour? Probably. Probably. All right. So Ange, let's dig in. Let's dig into the... Resource of the week sandwich five with dad. Oh. at five minutes with dad. All right. So, Ange, Wait, do you want to do the first joke of the week or do you want to do the knock a knock joke of the week? Uh, Wait, I want to do something with mine and then with Pavi's before. Okay. Ange wants to pr- play with the buttons. That. <laughs> Go ahead. Who's ready for an awesome episode of five minutes with dad? Me. All right. Who else? <laughs> Anyone else? Who's ready for the... Hold on. I'm going to do it with both of us. Okay. Go ahead, Ange. You're going to do me and me. Hold on. All right. We're holding. Let me first do it with Pavi's. Okay. Who's ready for an awesome episode of Five Minutes with Dad? Me! <laughs> yeah. ba 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 bye And we're back. Who's ready for the... <laughs> All right. Oh, and now and let me, you got that? Go ahead. Now let me combine them. Who, who's ready for an awesome episode of Five Minutes with Dad? Jeez. That's very me. powerful. Yeah. Who else is ready? Me! <laughs> who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Angela. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right all right so it <laughs> is time for the resource of the week sandwich and to lead us off we're doing the first joke of the weekend do you want to do the first joke of the week or do you want to do the knock knock joke knock knock all right who's there all right uh let me do the first joke of the week okay mm-hmm. what do you call a famous lobster i don't know what do you call a famous lobster wait i think i might know a lobster a lobster. Hey, <laughs> A famous lobster is called a famous lobster. <laughs> hey, oh. Except a lobster is an easier way to say it. It's like a rock star. It's a lobster. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the resource of the a week. A lobster star. Or a star alarm. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> All right. Star. Starer. I think, I think Angela had a little too much. What did you what did you have? Apple juice? No, what what was the um <laughs> what was that juice that you had? Capri Sun? Capri what? Sun today. I don't have any of those today. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think she's got some silly juice in her. <laughs> All right. So Wait. this resource of the week is something that it's, yeah. it's yeah. called It's called That one's for next week, right? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's called Magic Puppy. Magic Puppy <laughs> book series. So this is a book Five. Go ahead, Ange. If you search at 5 minutes with dad.com slash magic puppy, you'll get it to you. Yeah. It so will bring five, you to the, uh, don't know what that says. <laughs> yeah. 5 minutes bring with dad.com slash magic puppy. That's our affiliate link to bring you right to Amazon to, to get, get a, a book. Magic puppy. Angela, do you know what an affiliate link is? A thing? A fi- <laughs> a, an affiliate link is just an easy link to remember. So 5 minutes dad.com slash magic puppy. It's so much easier than to say amazon.com slash magic dash puppy dash book dash sue dash Bentley because that's what it leads to. So we replace it with a 5 minutes dad link. What? It, see the, the link at the top is really long. So Jeez. we we take that big link and copy it into 5 minutes of dad.com and then create a shorter link 5 minutes of dad.com slash magic puppy. But what makes it an affiliate link is that if someone goes to our five minutes with dad.com slash magic puppy and they end up buying the book for themselves or for their kids or their grandkids or something like that, they get this, they pay the same price that Amazon charges anybody, but you earn like 50 cents towards your college fund. 
for do it when they do it based on your recommendation. Amazon rewards people who recommend products on their website, and that's called the affiliate link. So, how much episodes have we done? We've done two hundred and something episodes. Okay, how much? <laughs> how much have have you made? Not nah, probably like twenty no. bucks. I don't know. <laughs> no, how much? Um, um, how much? How many resources of the week? Yeah. We've had 200 and something resources of the week, but they oh, weren't yeah, all Amazon true. stuff, right? Wait, they weren't? No, because we did some of them like um, we recommended, what did we recommend that wasn't an Amazon? Uh, the very first resource of the week was, stuff? no, it, well, we've done gear, yeah. And we've done like a friend of ours who had like a kid's box back in the day. I don't know if she's still doing it. In 2014, she did box? it. Yeah, it was um, five minutes of dad.com slash... I don't know, some sort of like subscription box. I don't know if she's still doing it. But yeah, we when we say that's our affiliate link, that's that's a short link that heads over to Amazon. But if someone buys something, Amazon gives you part of their profits. A very small part, but part for saying thank you for sending people over there. So, so Magic Puppy. Tell everyone about Magic Puppy, the book series. It's a really cute series because it's about talking animals. But... um. The very first one, I'm just going to tell a little thing. Um, the, per, the the girl who looks after it. Girl um, who looks after the puppy? Yep. So this is how they find them. They like go out and um, they randomly find them and the dog asks a question or something like that. And um, So who's they? So a bunch of kids go out and find magic puppies? Different like girls or guys. Cool. And find puppies, and then like they, the puppies talk, and they don't want like only the person who's it's the same exact puppy every single time, just in a different form, like different look. Um, wow! And uh, it's basically um, about a magic puppy who talks, but the only person who knows is is usually the girls. Oh, so let me or read what it says here. You want me to do this? Yeah. I says, Storm is a magic puppy who uses his spells wherever they are needed most. Can one magic puppy make three wishes come true? Follow Storm and friends in this collection of the first three books in the series. That's where it'll lead you to. So for nine ninety nine, you get the first three books, yeah, at least as of today. In A New Beginning, Lily wants a pony of her own. But when she meets a golden retriever with a sparkling midnight blue eyes, or with sparkling midnight blue eyes, she soon embarks on an unexpected adventure. In Muddy Paws, a black and white collie pup turns Beth's bummer summer into a fun-filled vacation. And in Cloud Capers, Jessica's really disappointed she can't sleep over with her best friend until fluffy Jack Russell puppy magically appears. Well, that sounds fun. They go on adventures with the puppies? Mm-hmm. Cool, and cool, cool. There's also d- tons of different other magic. Yeah. Animals. Well, we're going to be talking about them in some future episodes because Angela likes the whole series, mm-hmm. all the different t- versions too. All right. So that's it. Five minutes dot com slash magic puppy, singular magic puppy. That will send you right to Amazon to pick up the set. All right, Ange, ready for the knock knock joke of the week? Knock, knock. Who's there? Justin. Justin who? Justin the in the just in the neighborhood and thought I'd come over. Hey <laughs> Just in the neighborhood and thought I'd swing on by. Hey yo. Wait. Wait. No. <laughs> Thank you for listening. No. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's the the one last that. one. That that tr- that's our transition to the topic oh, of the week. Press it. <laughs> no. Press it. Press it. <laughs> yeah. Did you see what I did there? Yeah, you did all three. I did all three. Normally, we just do. Uh. <laughs> Do you like it with the boom? I think the boom makes it sound even weirder. Dad? Yes. Uh, press it. Press what? Press the... An- press what? Anonymous. Ominous? Press baby a laugh. <laughs> press baby a laugh. <laughs> it looks like baby.
baby a uh, baby no, a yeah, laugh. It's baby a laugh. a laugh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we wait, go. Press wait, it. wait. Press what? <laughs> That's not as spooky. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong one. <laughs> All right. So let's chit chat because we were going to talk about, we were going to talk about, uh, can you really learn while having fun? Because sometimes when I know when I was a kid, I didn't always have fun at school, but ain't mind blown, but Angela you seem to have a lot of fun in school. I know you don't love all of it all day. I don't like math. You don't like math, but you're learning all these cool math tricks. Mm. Eh, eh, that's okay. So you have uh, something cool going on this week that really makes the whole week pretty fun, doesn't it, Ange? Mm -hmm. Ange, you got to talk in the mic. Mm-hmm. A Readers and Writers Conference. A Readers and Writers Conference. Now, we've talked about this before. We generally talk about it once a year because it happens once a year. And it happened with Pavlos before. And now, Ange, it happened there. So mm -hmm. tell everybody how what the Readers and Writers Conference is and how it makes learning fun. It makes learning fun in two ways. So we'll chat about that, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so... Actually, wait a second. Before you go in there, do you want to give the answer to the riddle before we forget? Um, wait. What runs but never walks? What rocks. Rocks. R runs but never walks when make. Okay, so I wrote down a paper, and this is what it says. Reminder, what runs but never walks, but makes noise but never talks. Answer, a river. A river. The river wa runs. The river water f flows and runs because yep. it's like goes fast sometimes, but sometimes it goes calm and yep. all that. And then, and it makes noise if it hits the water yep. and stuff. Like, um, like if it, like waterfall, it can make noise if yep. it goes down a waterfall. Do you know what else runs or, but never walks and what makes no? what else makes noises but never talks? Refrigerator. A refrigerator. <laughs> what else? Washing machine? Sure. What else? Everything. A car? It does? Yeah, my car runs. The engine runs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Although I used to have a car in high school that it talked. It actually ran? It did? Yeah. Hmm. I had a, I, I think I got it in Greece one summer. I don't remember. Right. And it had a, I, it had a horn that we attached to it that I could press and it used to cock a doodle doo <laughs> so I used to drive down the street with cock a doodle doo and it used to move like a cow and Ooh. it had a microphone so I would I would talk <laughs> and it would sound like my car was talking. Isn't that cool? Wait. Wait. Say one what? different animal sound. Uh cow? Mm, Rooster? Say it. Chicken? <laughs> oh, it used to bark like a dog too. <laughs> All right. Say like this. Just like that. See, now I don't need that because I can just have you bark out the window. <laughs> All right, Ange. So, Ange, so let's chit chat. Okay, so everyone got the answer to that. We didn't forget. Thank goodness. Now let's chat. I think I almost was. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the two ways that an event like this can make learning fun. So, l this one just happens to be in your school. But there are conferences all over the world. There are some that happen virtually, just on the computer, and you connect through Zoom, kind of like virtual learning at school. And I do a lot of those for my business, in my business, to improve, um, and with mastermind groups and things like that. And those are really fun. You know why? Why? Because I get to choose which ones of those I attend based on what I'm interested in. So you and I, remember back in uh, last summer, we attended a virtual podcasting conference and broke a Guinness World Record together? Uh. Uh, <laughs> well, we get to choose that. So you get to, there's, so what are some of the things that you really enjoy doing? Gymnastics, right? Perler beads. Perler beads. Playing with Oreo? 
playing with <laughs> Oreo, playing with hamsters. You enjoy pets. Now, if you could go and learn about pets online. So one of the ways that you can make learning fun is to choose something you're interested in and learn more about it. Learn more about dogs, learn more about hamsters, learn cats. more about cats, gymnastics, um, podcasting, <laughs> guinea pigs, guinea pigs, business, um, lemonade animals, stands, pod. five minutes with dad, five minutes with dad, rapping baking. Don't you like baking? Yeah. Perler beans. Yes. So oh, how do you make learning fun? By choosing what you learn. So there are some things in school you have to learn. But there are some things that you get to choose to learn, especially as you get older. When you get into high school, they're going to let you choose some of the lessons that you're going to get to take. And you can choose things that you enjoy. All right. So the other way is at school when they have events for you to participate in it. So let's talk about this readers and writers conference at your school. So what is what is that all about? Um. Well, it's about like when people come to the school and tell us about like what they do or st and stuff like that. And sometimes they even show like the one, um, the one, one of the ones last year or two years ago, last, um, the last time you had it. Yeah. You, you ended up canceling it last year because two years. Yeah. So two years ago they had what? Two years ago, they had a laser light show. That's cool. And last year, they had a, um, last year, they had, all, like, the fav, like, ever like, the ones that lots of people liked. So, like, um, the like, laser light show person came, some, like, uh, I think it was someone who had owls came. Yeah, someone had animals. Didn't someone bring an alligator? No. No. What? I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. <laughs> what? I don't know. So someone. Okay. So someone brought some animals. And then that's all the ones I really remember. So they they bring because, authors to your school, right? Yeah. Some authors. Some like maybe someone like who's really good at like a sport and stuff or something. Yeah. So you get to learn. So sometimes we learn by reading and practicing. And that's important, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes we learn by just listening. Listening to other people tell their story about how they do what they do. Or what they do. Or what they do. Like, Angela, um, I can't tell you how many people get into, didn't even know ghostwriting was a thing until they meet me. And they say, wait, what do you mean you're a ghostwriter? And actually this Thursday, I'm doing free training. If you guys want to go to ghostwriterschool.com. Or help people help people. I help people help people. Um, it's ghostwriterschool, um, ghostwriterschool.com. Uh, I don't know what the website is for it. That's a good question. <laughs> but ghost, if you go to ghostwriterschool.com or if you go to my free Facebook group, ghostwritergrowth.com, that'll redirect you to the Facebook group. Mm -hmm. You'll see, uh, I'm announcing, I'm doing some training Thursday, April 29th on how to become a ghostwriter. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing it that evening. So if you, if people are interested in that, but a lot of people don't even know what ghostwriting is. I have someone who yeah. teaches college. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's been teaching college for a bunch of years and his wife had a job too. And about a year and a half ago, they joined, he came to me and he said, you're doing all this ghostwriting. I like to write. What is that all about? And I told him, I helped him start doing it just in his spare time. And he, his wife ended up leaving her job because he makes the money as a ghostwriter and she's now building her dream business and he just quit his job. So now their family is going to function a lot like our family with just ghostwriting. <laughs> and as she builds up her business, how cool is that? Cool. And he, he learned about it just by finding someone who's doing it and talking about how they do it and what they do it. So you can learn just by hanging out with people. How cool is that? Cool. And what else? What else do you do during the writers well, and they readers? Call ghostwriter, ghostwriter. Why do they call it a ghostwriter? Because um, we're the ones who write, but we write behind the scenes. So no one really sees us or knows about us except for the authors. We help the authors and the uh, it's the author's stories. So the author's name gets on it. We just help the author write the story in such a way that it works really well. We're experienced with the writing and we get better as we do it. So a lot of people break into writing. They just help people write. So we're a ghost. We're invisible. No one sees us. 
I see you. It's really scary. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> That's my baby Angela laugh. <laughs> so, that little girl. Eat chips. Eat every snack. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then that little giggle at the end. Hang on, listen, ready? Eat every snack. <laughs> Eat every snack. <laughs> All right. So, um, so I love this readers and writers conference because you get people come in and talk about the lasers and how they work and you just learn by observing. In the laser light show. Uh, um, I remember that like they, we, they put on different laser light, like they put on different shows with the laser Different light. music and different, the lasers do different things. Yeah. And I think we played games to get another. Oh, that's kind of cool. P- thing. So right. we played games like with the laser light shows. So what I love about this or, is that, <laughs> yeah. Well, what I love about this is that a lot of times when we think of learning, we think boring, right? Mm-hmm. We think boring. But Ange, when you watch videos about how to bake, is that boring to you? Mm-hmm. You just watch the videos. It's not exciting, but you learn boring. how to do something cool and you like to do the baking, right? Mm-hmm. But Go I ahead. just found a fortune thing. And I think I know why you kept it. Oh, you found a fortune cookie thing? It yes. It is in our position. Okay, read the fortune. <laughs> Go ahead. It is in our position. P- position. <laughs> <laughs> Shake those wiggles out. Shake the... Go ahead. It is in our position, but our disop- disposition. <laughs> disposition. Disposition. That makes us happy. Yes. Yeah, I save the cool fortunes when we... Get fortune cookies. I mean, I it isn't our position, but our disposition. Yes, that makes us happy. So wh- what this means, maybe we'll do an episode of this. It isn't our position, but our disposition that makes us happy. The short story is it. It's not. it's not what we have that makes us happy. It's not what we own or what we do for work or what we do in school that makes us happy. It's our disposition. Our disposition means how we look at the world and we get to choose whether we're happy. Well, how, if we wake up and say, Oh my goodness, today's going to stink unless something really great happens, then we're going to go around looking for things that are stinky. But if we wake up and say, today's going to be great. And no matter what happens, I'm going to make the best of it. Then we're going to go looking for the fun parts of, of, of the day. So we're going to be happier just because of how we look at the world. Go ahead, Ange. Um, I can't wait. For tomorrow. <laughs> and tomorrow's the first day of the conference, right? Yep. Yep. All right. And all right, let's just let's just summarize. Number one, uh, you can choose things that you love to learn about, love to do, and learn more and become better and better and better. And that becomes fun because you're choosing what you want to do based on what you have, what you can do fun. You can learn a whole lot about watching other people do things that are interesting to you, like laser light shows, or by talking to people who are doing cool things, like my friend uh, got into ghostwriting. So you can learn a whole bunch of cool stuff in different ways, not just by reading and stuff. That's important in school, and that's important, but don't let your... Um, don't let your learning be limited by just what you learn in school. Choose to do some cool stuff and have some fun and learn about things that you like. What do you think, Ange? Yeah. All right, let's leave it there. Don't forget to check out 5minuteswithdad.com slash, what is it, Ange? Magic puppy. Magic puppy. And what do you think? Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pablos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com. Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad.